Russell, with your background across the whole hotel industry, how do you perceive uh, um, service apartments as, a, as an element of that? And, and what proportion of the business that you guys are seeing being done is in this sector? Is it growing? And, and how much do you see it growing over the next three to five years in Europe? The service department sector is really one of the most exciting components of the whole hotel and hospitality sector. Um, it's a niche that is growing in importance and the niche that's filled by this conference is very much in evidence uh, by the number of people that come, that participate and that have signed up for this event. Um, I've always felt that it was worthy of highlighting as a special event of its, uh, of it, of its own um, and in that sense it's reflecting the growing importance of service departments within the overall hospitality sector. That said, the sector is still very fragmented. It's still very much in its infancy. When I first really became um, involved in a very committed way, um, I said at the time that the only way the service department sector was going to grow up was when it realised that Fragmentation was not the way forward, um, but information and data and performance data, particularly on the sector, was going to be the linchpin on which investors, banks and developers were going to find it much easier to get projects off the ground. That's been really quite slow and I think that that's a big area of growth opportunity for the sector. And once people realise that, once people sign up to that, I think that the sector has a huge amount of potential and a lot of room to grow. It doesn't represent a big part of our business, it does represent a very important part of our business. Okay, uh, presumably more data uh, and clearer definitions of, of what the sector is actually about will lead to increased consumer awareness and investor awareness, which are the two, the two areas where, which, which people keep coming back to as, as areas that we really need to focus on. You're right, um, consumer awareness, customer awareness is hugely important um, and one of the messages that I say to my clients and to, to anybody who, who asks me the question is the best way to move forward is to listen to your customers. Uh, we think we know what our customers want but we don't ask them enough and we don't ask them in a way uh, that elicits the sort of answers that uh, we're going to then be able to use. So yeah, we need to get um, the sector regularised and understood by our customers and by the people that matter in terms of the investment community, the banking and financial community, and sadly by a lot of the people who operate this type of product. They need to sign up to it, they need to understand that they need to fit into a certain type of box. The more they fit into a box, that people will readily understand, the more easy it is to get their message across. The more that they try and say, well, I know what my customers want, but they don't really. I know what my customers want, I'm going to provide this, 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 and this. The more difficult it will be for the sector as a whole to be truly understood. Wonderful. Thank you very much. You're most welcome.